Welcome to MKSB Pavel here. Let's check out the Ayman. And it's not uh, the easiest song to start with, but it's insanely improvisational, so I can show you just a couple of ways mm. of how I would approach it and get away with it. Obviously, electric guitar mm. is the driving force in a song, and it has probably just one strict part, which is the chorus. <laughs> in the main league. and the rest of the song even Mark himself wouldn't play the same twice also it has almost everything it has flashy blues solos it has mm, soulful solos riffs improvisation, Mark's signature rhythm playing, fancy chords, chords with no third, couple on the fifth fret, and this is essential folk music meeting the blues song. And it begins with a blues bump over D minor or A minor relative to the couple. Anyway, I'm meeting the third interval. You may call it the power chord or A5 chord. Anyway, you can play something like D major going to A minor here. And this again, folk, folk music sound, folk over the blues, Scarborough Fair. Geeks may recognize it like the Dorian mode, which is just A minor scale with sharp six. Anyway, sometimes Mark can play something like a C sharp, which makes the whole thing major all of a sudden. see it's the first chord in a song and already anything goes here. Basic rhythm and it's common for many many of Mark's songs is this rhythm on two strings. It's just, just thumb, up, down and up. Sometimes missing the first up Sometimes with a thumb still sitting on a thicker string. It gives you this kind of sound. And since, since it's a blues, any blues Licks will do mostly in the first, in the third position of the minor pentatonic scale. It's the one before position which everybody knows. So it starts. chord, G5, G power chord. You can slide to it. You can hammer on, play it straight. 
trade. You can do anything. To A. To the chorus. It's the first strict part, just after Why man? Why So it starts Why This kind of sound. Then Mark plays G5 chord with a thumb on the top to give more meat to it. Or occasionally he plays like that. Anyway. To F. Going to G. A, C, G, G, to the main lick. And this lick is in the third position again of A minor pentatonic scale, starting on the third, then a little bend at the end, as far as my acoustic can go, and then quick change to A5, it goes like starting the index finger or with the thumb, then quick change to A5, index, thumb, pull off, index, Pump the open A. Then mute both the thumb and index finger. And then pluck the index finger. gives you the opportunity to play the next note with a thumb. Pull off, thumb, index, middle, thumb, pull off, index, slide. Again. Then Index, thumb, pull off, thumb. Second part is a little embellishment. Then thumb, pull off, thumb, index, middle, thumb, bend. Open. And the fourth time, a little embellishment again. Sometimes instead of fourth repetition, Mark plays something like going to to the solo, and solo sequence is D minor going to G with B in the bass, and this kind of melody. 
C to A minor G bass again D Simple and beautiful. Um, to the solo, there is no shortcuts for soloing apart from from A minor pentatonic scale over A minor chord. And the rest of the chords, you have to outline uh, these by their shapes. All the shapes are already here. It's easier to leave couple off in your mind and think just G minor going to C major then F A minor um, and find finding transition points F major or even in the first position to C Now, for the rhythm part, you can just base it on electric guitars part. But what I, I like to do is leave couple off. And tune low E to D. And this way you will have this bottom end and also can play the whole harmony. And there is no proper way to play it, since the song is so multi-layered with all sorts of instruments like buzuki, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, high G electric guitar even, and so on. So it's not, per and not a perfect acoustic song to play but at least we will try you can start with a basic d5 chord it's like d but with a on top and rhythm again down up down up I play it like five, mute, open, open, third, third fret. A little bar here. Slap, hammer on. Third 
first chord of the of the chorus is this full D sus two chord. Open A, open E, to F. But what I like to do is to play F like an octave here, then open G string and a little bar up here, and it gives you this kind of F sus sound. Then shift the whole thing here. When what I do is uh, is lift off fourth finger, replace it with second finger to give this kind of major sound. Then shift the whole thing to frets and again to frets and it gives you its kind of sus sound again. So it's D sus here, then F sus here, major, D sus, C sus and D sus. Again for the last time. solo sequence it's just G minor 5 mute 5 3 3 3 to C F 3 mute 3 2 1 1 D minor But what I like, I like to play it like that. So first chord is like not the G minor, but G minor with B flat bass. Hope you got all that you came for and learned something new and see you again later thanks for watching